Hello guys, uh, today uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about a few numerical problems related to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. A very simple question, but you know, let us just see what are the different types of questions that we can, you know, uh, we may expect in examinations. Okay, here in this question, we have an electron has a speed of 500 meter per second. 500 meter per second is the speed given, correct up to this percentage that is um, given your del V by V value is given percentage del V by V uh, with what minimum accuracy can you locate the position so basically we need to find out this del X right so for this we need to find out the absolute uncertainty here for del P we can write this del P is actually uh, your M del V or you can write this way you know P is equal to M V so you have del P by P is equal to del M by M plus del V by V. So here we are not aware of this del M, del M considered to be zero here. So we have this del P is equal to P times del V by V basically, right? So here we can write del P is equal to P times del V by V. This is what we call. So P can be found out by multiplying mass into velocity. Mass of the electron is um, around 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg multiplied with whatever value of speed given 500 then you can write this to be you know around 4.55 into 10 to the power minus 28 the unit kg meter per second right so we have the value of p now once you got the value of p you can determine what is del p p value 4.55 into 10 to the power minus 28 multiplied with this del v by v del v by v is 0 0.01 divided by your 100 so you got the value of del P, what P is the value. Um, this gives you this 100 and this is 1 by 100. So it gives you 4.55, so you got four zeros over here. 4.55 into 10 to the power minus 32, okay, kg meter per second. So del P value is one. Now you substitute in the uncertainty principle that says del x del p must be greater than equal h bar by 2. So here you can take the minimum value like, uh, equal h bar by 2 and then you find out what is del x. Del x will be h bar divided by 2 times del p. So del p value we just um, got from here you can see 4.55 in 10 to the power minus 32 substitute over here. So if you substitute then you can write um, this h bar is h by 2 by 6.62 into 10 to the minus 34 divided by 2 times 3.142 per pi and then you find out the value so substituting all the value here for h bar if i write 1.05 into 10 to the power minus 34 divided by 2 times whatever value 4.55 into 10 to the power minus 32 will be the answer so this uh, is around 1.3 uh, sorry this is around 2.318 um, nanometer, 10 to the power minus 9 meter. So this way, okay, you can find out. Well, move to the second question. It says if the uncertainty in position, that is del x is given, of an electron is this, calculate the uncertainty in momentum here. You do not have uh, the velocity value. So here you need to just take del x and del p. So here, simple substitute del x del p is, uh, is greater than equal h bar by 2 so you will substitute del p is nearly equal to h bar divided by 2 times del x so 1.05 so that question there is nothing to do 34 divided by 2 times whatever value of del x 10 to the power minus 10 and this gives us one point just check the value 310 minus 25 kg meter per second so that question okay next question is find the uncertainty in kinetic energy of proton confined to a nucleus kinetic energy of a square or in terms of um, momentum if you write kinetic energy is equal to p square by 2m okay confined to a nucleus of size this so del x we will consider this to be 10 to the power minus 14 meter that's the maximum uncertainty now here you do not have this like no velocity or anything given or else we could do this way del e k by e k finding the relative uncertainty it will be 2 del p by um, 
this p right considering this 2m to be constant so is directly proportional to p square so del e k by e k is 2 del p by e p and hence del e k is equal to e k times uh, 2 del p by e p we will not be able to find out in this way because you know we do not have the value of e k here so we are not given so simply we will uh, you know uh, approximate it to what uh, del e k is equal to here simply from here Okay, del E K, uh, we will consider here to be what del E square by 2M. So this way we need to approximate here because we do not have the value of E K or velocity so that we can find out that half M B square and you know, uh, substitute over here. Okay, we do not have the momentum value as well. We, now, we need to find out the uncertainty in kinetic energy directly. So del E K, we will take this as del P square by 2M. Right. So from this. So now let us find out del P substituting del X is this. So inequality or Heisenberg's uncertainty uh, that says del P we can write H bar divided by two times del X substitute one point zero five into ten to the power minus thirty four divided by two into ten to the power minus fourteen. That gives us five point two five into ten to the power minus twenty one. The unit kg meter per second and then substitute over here 5.25 into 10 to the power minus 21 divided by 2 times the mass of the proton 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 27. Sorry, this is squared. Okay, write whatever the value 8.301 into 10 to the power minus 5. Okay, so this way you can find out. Okay, next question says an elopron has. A speed of 600 meter per second with the accuracy of 0. Point. Um, this should be 001 as per the question. 001 percent uh, calculate uncertainty in the position of the electron. Okay, so whatever 0. 0.01 or 001, whatever it will. So basically, your del V value is given. Del V by V is given 0. 0.001 divided by 100. So we can find out what is the absolute uncertainty by just multiplying the value of the velocity which is 600 given here that is 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter per second we got okay del p. so now we just in the first question we derived del p is equal to m times del v so substitute the value of electron 9 point mass of the electron 10 to the power minus 31 kg multiplied with del v we just calculated 6 into 10 to the power minus 3 that gives us 54.6 into 10 to the power minus 34 kg meter per second so you got the value of sorry value of del p right now you find out the uncertainty in the position position del x is equal to h bar by 2 del p substitute the value 1.05 into 10 to the power minus 34. Okay, I do a second. 2 into 54.6 into 10 to the power minus 34. That gives us 9.72. 9.72 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay, meter. This is the question. Okay, now let's move to the uh, last question. The average uh, lifetime of a nuclear state is 9.97 into 10 to the power minus 21 second. So, this is given as in time, if you'll see, we will consider this is the uncertainty in time. Find the uncertainty in the energy of that state calculated. So, canonically conjugate coordinates, del x, del p, and del e, del e energy time and position momentum so we need to understand that this energy and um, time will also follow the same rule that is greater than h bar by 2 so here you can find out the uncertainty in the energy that is del e so del e will be h bar divided by 2 times del t it's a direct question I think much 1.05 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second divided by 2 into whatever value given 9.97 into 10 to the power minus 21 seconds calculate. It's around 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 14 joule. So we got the uncertainty in energy. First thing, 
calculate uncertain in the frequency of emitted photon. So we need to find out E equals to H nu. We have energy is equal to Planck's constant multiplied with the frequency. Now we can write similarly del E is equal to H is a constant. So only del nu will be there. So del nu is equal to del E divided by H. So whatever uncertainty in energy we got, divide that with the Planck's constant. 6.626 and 10 minus 34 joule second. So, okay, so joule will cancel second inverse. You can see that it's all okay. So, that gives us 7.55 into 10 to the power 18 arch. Okay, so um, this is what we got. Okay, thank you for watching.